Hi everyone, in this exercise we will practice how to use sets. As you all know, set is a data collection to remove duplicate items inside a bunch of object instances. This is the most important usage area of sets. It is also used for checking if an object already exists in a set. According to the result, you may change the code flow, okay? And Objects in the set must overwrite a cause and hash code methods of object class according to the logic you want and both of them must use the same attributes inside this object. For instance, if a cause method is checking attribute A and B for equality, hash code also must be generating the hash code, the integer value, by using only attribute A and B. Otherwise, there will be some conflicting problems okay so to practice set usage we have a problem like this we have a string say collections is the most important item in java development and we will remove all the occurrences of a letter after the first occurrence so o occurs here for the first time so the other occurrences will be removed from the sentence so this one and this one should be removed from this sentence l exists here for the very first time that's why this l will be removed from the sentence so the output will be something like this so how to detect that a letter is repeating the best way is to put every letter into a set and if this set already contains a letter, we will not add this letter into the output. Otherwise, we will add it to the output. Okay? Now, we will create a class named duplicate word remover. And we will write a method inside with this signature. It will get a string and will return a new string like this. This is input, this is the output. Inside this method, we will use a hash set to detect duplicate items and then we will test our code in main method. Now, let's create our class first. It is duplicate word remover and put the main method inside it. After that, let me copy this method signature. Let's implement it. And its access modifier is public. And now, let's implement this. First, we need a string builder to construct the output. That's why I'm saying it's output and initializing it in string builder. And while operating over the string, I will put each character into C. Let's write S to char array here. So I will be able to get each letter as a character and I will create a set here set and it will store characters okay let's say character set for it and initialize it so we will put every item every character we have encountered into this set and the concrete implementation is hash set while iterating over the characters first i will check if the c character already exists in the set so the way is character set that contains c if it already contains the c i will do nothing otherwise i will put this character into the set by using add method i'm putting it after that, I will add this character to the output, append C. After iterating over all the characters inside the sentence, I will return output that to string. This is our output. Now, let's test it inside the main method. Let me create an instance of duplicate word remover and name it as remover duplicate word remover and we will invoke remove duplicate letters on this instance and let me copy the sentence the sentence is that 
let's copy it here and get the output as results okay now let's print out this result here is our output the only wrong thing is that spaces should be preserved our practice sheet says that spaces should be preserved so i will change the flow here i will say if character set does not contain this character or this character equals to space character okay in that case we will put the space into the output let's try it it did not work because this is character and you can't test the equality of a character with a string so you need to convert this to string by using single quotes okay let's try it now that's it we preserved the spaces that's all for this exercise see you later